What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing Tsukimichi, and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you'll be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got Patreon. Link to that is below. We are reviewing Tsukimichi episode 7. What happened in this episode was making the Ambrosia Potion. The Makoto got red eyes, or ruby eyes from taking down ants that had ruby eyes. And then there is a Rembrandt training company that was, that made a request, request, quest. They made a quest for ruby eyes. Muckles already had them. So he goes there and the ruby eyes was to make a ambrosia potion. It is a potion to cure a level eight cursed disease. The one who owns the Rembrandt company, his name is Rembrandt, he has a wife and two daughters. They have the curse, yes. They were inflicted by the level 8 curse disease by a witch doctor. The beginning of this episode shows the witch doctor he wouldn't lift the curse disease and I think they killed him? Now the thing is... That just shows how re how hard Reverend is, you know, because the next time we saw them, they're like, We're so concerned about our family, even though last night or whatever, they just killed someone. Well, anyways, Makoto, he has an alchemist friend who can make the Ambrosia Potion. He makes the potion. Apparently, the alchemist friend is very careless because he almost uh, dropped potion two times. And during this, Makoto was able to show some of his skills, saving those dropped potions and such. And Butler witnessed this. Butler has an idea on Makoto's skills. And then Rembrandt, he's having a hard time giving the potions to his wife and two daughters. They are having what he thought were fits, but it turns out that the cursed disease was making them not take the medicine. I thought this was really interesting. I was like, wow, that's a really bad curse. Like, it prevents you from taking the cure. <laughs> like, dang. So Makoto, he used his judo skills that he learned from his sister. Oh, it looked really good. And Rembrandt was able to witness this. And he was like, well, I thought you were like a level one. No, mm, he's a level one. But he's good. And so the wife and the daughters are cured. And then... Okoto, Tomoe, and Mio, they leave, but then they get ambushed by the adventurers who were tailing him for the past two episodes, I think, because they were involved with the Rembrandt uh, quest thingy majiggy. So they ambush him, but yeah, it does nothing to the three of them. One was called Lime Latte. Okay, really? Why is his name a Lime Latte? His hair wasn't even green. It's Ray. Where did the lime come from? Lime latte. Ugh. That does not sound like good. I like lattes. Um, that does not sound good. Uh, um, maybe if it was like key lime pie latte, that maybe actually that sounds good. Anyways, they brought in more adventures. It was like 20 versus 3. And then lime latte's like, hey ladies, join us. Da 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 da. And then Mio, she's like, I'll do it for 10 gold. And they're like, okay, so she's, she actually said she'll step out for 10 gold. And at first, Tomoe was like, Mio, you biatch! And it turns out that Makosa wanted her to step out, so there wouldn't be a repeat of what happened to Setsuya. Yeah, they don't want the whole place to get destroyed because of competition. So it's just Makosa and Tomoe, and Tomoe was just dodging, and Makosa was like, why are you just dodging? And Tomoe's like, well, you know... The signal to fight um, wasn't said. Mikosa's like, what do you mean a signal to fight? And Tomoe's like, well, you know, that thing that lords say. <laughs> Mikosa had to remember what that saying was. And it was like, teach him a lesson or something like that. That was the saying. And <laughs> Mikosa was like embarrassed to say that during a fight. And after that, Tomoe was just like, oh, it's on. She was punching people, she was taking their weapons, and then she took someone else's weapon and just used the back of the sword to defeat them. And it was just the first two adventures that we saw, Lime Latte and the mage person. So the mage person was trying to leave through transportation magic, but then Makoto with speed just like 
grabbed his head and slammed it to the ground. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. New special effects and such, just the motion of it. Oh, I felt the pain of getting the face smashed to the ground. And then Tomoe, she went to fight Lime Latte. Then Lime Latte, he said he was the number one adventure in the game. <laughs> and then you know, Tomoe, she beat him, and Slime Latte is like, please don't kill me. And Tomoe looked into his memories and turns out that he has people he cares for, he needs to protect. It's kids at an orphanage. And so they're talking to him after everything got settled down. They're like, okay, what's your deal? And it turns out that Slime Latte did put the cursed disease on them, on the Reverend's family. But he thought it was a sleeping spell. What happened was at a bar, he said his favorite bar, he was talking to the witch doctor and they were talking about how adventurers were put out of work because they crossed the Rembrandt trading company. So the tra Rembrandt, Rembrandt put adventurers out of work. That's like, ooh, it's kind of shady. Like, why did you do that? Even if they felt insulted or crossed or whatever, is this? That's horrible. Adventurers work is their money. That's their job. You can't just put adventurers out of work. How are they going to survive? They got families too. I think, I think they got families. Anyways, so, okay, that's one thing about the Rembrandt company. And then the witch doctor, he talks about how adventurers from an orphanage got killed and that you know, that triggered Lime Latte because, you know, he protects an orphanage. So he decides to work with the witch doctor and he really thought it was just a sleeping spell to make Rembrandt, you know, back off. And until he backs off with the adventurous work and such, then they'll lift the sleeping spell off of his family. And once he learned that it was actually a level 8 curse disease, he felt bad. And um, it just seems like the witch doctor tricked him but i don't know why the witch doctor needed lime latte for this like did he need like ingredients or whatnot like they didn't explain why the witch doctor needed lime latte i'm assuming is to put all the blame on lime latte but the thing is the witch doctor got caught and <laughs> he uh he got killed right and uh, they learned that the witch doctor did this because Rembrandt did something to him. And so that's another thing, number two, kind of weird shady thing going on with the Rembrandt company. Anyways, after everything was revealed, Lime Latte went to Rembrandt, was said sorry, he asked forgiveness, and Rembrandt says, well, your adventuring is limited now. Okay, that's another thing. Third, third thing where it's like, okay, how come you can control his adventuring? Like, what kind of power do you have? In my reaction, I was thinking, okay, is it the kind of thing where if you have the money, you have the power? Some shady thing that you see with villains with money in a DC or Marvel universe. Besides that, Lime Latte is like, nope, that's fine. I'm going to retire from adventuring. And because he's free now, Tomoe takes him in. She asks him to be a Bye. <laughs> so we get a new person in the party and we have the number one adventurer from Sige acting as a spy for Tomoe. And Tomoe is super excited. She's like, I have people now. <laughs> and that was the end of the episode. Now in this episode, I kept talking about how there's some shady stuff with Rembrandt, right? Wow. Tomoe saw in the memories of Rembrandt and his butler and it seems like they've done some dirty things along the way. Rembrandt did say that they've done many things. Uh, they did not half-ass things for their goal and such. And it just seems like uh, they dirty their hands for this training company. Like we saw the butler had some skills. When one of the potions that the alchemist dropped, he caught it with a scarf a little like cloth thing so that's like oh butler you got skills why does the butler have skills and another thing wasn't he the one who killed the witch doctor so he has no qualms with killing people 
So, mm-hmm, we gotta keep an eye on these people. They are in the opening, so for sure, they are part of the series. We're gonna see them multiple times. Now, Makoto is starting a business, right? And Rembrandt is a training company. They're gonna cross paths multiple times. I'm going to predict that Rembrandt, out of obligation, out of being thankful for Makoto saving his family, he's gonna help out Makoto with his business and such. Don't know how, but it's definitely going to be beneficial for Makoto. I'm hoping that Makoto is going to be able to have a business like throughout the land. I don't want Makoto to stay in Sega and such. I want him to like explore more, get to know more of this world. There are a couple more things I want to talk about from this episode. One of them is chanting. So when the alchemist person was preparing to make the ambrosia potion to cure the wife and daughters of the level 8 curse disease, Makoto mentioned or commented that the chanting was useless and it <laughs> first he commented that it was to chant to the gods for help etc etc but he commented that it wasn't efficient like there's something flawed about it and he had to tweak it to make it more efficient and such i wish they explored that more to show what he did and why he did it and why the chanting and making the circle, the bell, whatever, was not productive or efficient or... You know what I mean. I want to know more about that. And I kind of am suspecting that the chanting is not necessary. I think the chanting is actually a prayer to give to the goddess to empower her and such. Because aren't gods normally um, powered by faith by belief from their subjects and such i think the chanting is part of that and the other thing i want to talk about is the ambrosia potion the ambrosia is actually a flower so they can't get to the flower for some reason but the ants feed off the nectar of the flower and most of the ambrosia essence was in the eyes i guess and makoto said he wants to get the ambrosia flowers for his company with him and his people. I'm pretty sure they can get it. It's just that why can't people get it? Why is it hard to get the flowers? What's going on there? I'm pretty sure in this series we're going to see something about the ambrosia flowers. And that's my review of Tsukimichi episode 7. If you've seen this episode and there's anything I missed or you guys want us to talk about, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't seen the episode, what's your impression from this video? If you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash like host Supervina. People watch these videos. If you like to stop by the stream, outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this is the Superfina channel reviewing Tsukimichi episode 7. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Later! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video and i do stream live on twitch every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays hope to see you guys there and i will see you on the next video this bump